Hey, what is up guys? It is Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video everyone So this is going to be another episode of the pirate 101 walkthrough I believe this is episode 35 So we're making progress here in cool ranch and in the last episode uh, aside from you know fucking up all the audio We actually defeated the duck of death at boot hill and saved Tonka and now we got to know more about the original El Toro I think so now we have to go to this El Toro to learn about El Toro Anyway, let's get started. You return so soon, my good friend. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Honestly, I don't remember. The key to Don Rafael's mausoleum. What could you want in such a place? Uh... Ah, I see. I fear the key is not mine to give. What? Bandito stole the key long ago. The Fragarales recovered it, but refused to return it. They no doubt still have it on one of their ships. Mm. El Toro should have taken it back, <laughs> but Don Rafael's memory is... Painful to me. I have not visited the place since his funeral. Mm. Good hunting. Defeat Frog Rally's ship? Oh god. More ship combat? Are you serious? Collect mausoleum key. Alright, I guess I will just go defeat that ship, collect that key, and I'll see you guys when I'm done that. Alright, so we got the key, and I'm pretty sure the next thing we have to do is go back to Boot Hill, I think. I think that's where the ghost resides, or the mausoleum that holds the ghost. I think he's here. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, I actually upgraded my gear because I hit level 25 last episode. So I upgraded my gear to level 25. And let me just make sure my game audio is recording real quick because I do not want to make the same mistake that I made last episode. Okay, it looks like we're fine. So yeah, I upgraded my gear a little bit to level 25 gear. And my weapon is one of those big, like, mace things. And it looks really weird because it actually shows me holding it while I'm on my horse. So that looks a little bit funny. But anyway, let's go. Yeah, this is it right here. Alright, so Tonka's there just chilling. Old Scratch is here for some reason. I don't really know why, but let's go into the crypts here. Old Scratch, Tonka. Yeah. Okay, sure. Why not? So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there are a shit ton of ghost fights in here. So that should be fun. Alright, hello. Summon Don Raphael. For me to call for Don Raphael's ghost. I and I need some things precious to him. Hmm. Let's look in those chests there. Look in the chest. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, and then it pulls you into each one of these battles. I remember that. We wake the angry dead. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Alright. What is that? Armored doubloon? I'll just save that, probably. Alright, let's just buff up a bit. Alright, so... Okay, it only allows... Oh, no, three's the normal. Three's the normal meta companions, I forgot. There we go. I still don't really understand why it adds strength to the musketeers and the swashbucklers. I don't really know. It doesn't make much sense to me, but I won't question their game mechanics. Alright. Pet joined. Nice. Alright. Let's do that. A little bit of that. Can you hit all of them? Okay. Just do that. There we go. So how much damage do I do now? I could not see. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's fine. We will not know how much damage I do with my new gear and weapon for now, I suppose. Although I do get another weapon from doing this quest. So I'm not sure if that'll be better than my current one or what. I guess we'll see. Oh. Nice. One down. And now, sneak attack. Haywire, what is this? Haywire strike. <laughs> and there you go. There you go, Peter. Oh, no, 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 I cannot have you die. I cannot have the angel die so early into the episode. No, that can't happen. Absolutely not. Let's use our armor to balloon there. Okay, just give her a little bit more armor. And then will this kill him? Okay, it should. And then we'll just do that and heal that girl. Thank you. Alright, so she shouldn't die this round, but... Mega hit, awesome. So he'll be taken out no matter what. That's good. Okay. Uh, 
All right, this should be fine. Oof, they do a lot of damage though. 115, yeah. All right, yeah, we'll be fine. I'm not sure if like the ghost tier, the tier of like enemies that we're fighting increases at all. I honestly have no idea, so I guess we'll just have to see. But these guys aren't too bad. All right. Get all that, all that treasure. All right, now we gotta get his cape. Let's get a bit more health here. And then you should summon more ghosts. Yep. And I get pulled instantly. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> all right. Gold for everyone. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna have you retreat actually a little bit. Just so they don't attack you right away. Gold. I love that one. Alright. Yeah, that's what it should do. That's what it's supposed to do with, like, the strength and everything. Huh. Okay. There you go. I should actually... Now that I think about it, I should probably train up my companions a bit more. I don't really know what level they are right now. They might be falling a little bit behind. Okay. I guess everyone just attack that guy? Just make sure he dies? I suppose? I don't know. I don't know how much damage we do all together. Seems like I do a fair amount though. Yeah. Okay, Peter. Sure. Thank you very much, Peter. Come on, Bonnie. There we go. Nice. I don't know why, whenever I fight musketeer, like, enemies, I swear they're always weaker. Like, 100% of the time. Usually. <laughs> Come on, Peter. There we go. There we go. Yes! More of that. Let's go, Peter! That was his best chain yet, probably, in the series. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Once I get El Toro, I might have to replace him. I might have to replace Peter. I think. Cheers. Can I do more gold? Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Gold is really easy to get in this game, though. There's just not a lot to, like, spend it on. I feel like in Wiz you have all this, like, stuff that you could be spending gold on, like hatches, super expensive, but like in Pirate there's just none of that, so it just builds up. Get him! There we go. Okay, you... You should be dead. Should be. Alright, oh! <laughs> Peter has some of the best sound effects in the game, hands down. Alright, we all good on health? Yeah, we are. Perfect. Just do that. Good thing there's like little yum yum fruits in here though. I don't remember that actually being a thing last time, so. Okay, now we can see how much damage I actually do. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Nice! Perfect. Alright, got his cape. How many more battles? I wonder. Is it? It's definitely one or two more. Alright, yeah, we got two big piles of gold here. 500, where's the other one? Oh, it's right here. And there we go. <laughs> a little bit of extra gold for us. Who's, who's not all cool XP is ready? Ah, uh, yes. Barnabas. People were telling me to use Barnabas. I just don't see, like... I just don't see it, <laughs> really. I don't see how good he could actually be. I feel like I just have a lot of better companions right now. Alright, so there's... I wonder... Could I just skip ahead to the next chest? <laughs> like, is that a thing? No, it's not. Okay. I'll just collect some more health anyway, but... Yeah. Alright, and then... I think that's his tomb over there, so we should be good after these two fights. 
All right, collect his sword. Uh oh, got some skeleton boys. I have a feeling we'll be running into these guys a lot more. <laughs> All right, I should definitely train up my companions though. I don't know why I haven't done that. All right. There we go. Always good to buff up. Even though I feel like Buccaneer doesn't get as many buffs for some reason. Or maybe it's because I'm a low level. I don't... I don't remember. <laughs> God, these cowboys. Whoa, okay. Sneak attack. Haywire strike. Alright, let's just hit both of those guys and we should be good. Seems like I'm critting a lot more. Yeah, why is that? Huh. Weird. Didn't really expect it. That's why I set most of my companions on that guy. Oh well. Oh no, the second chance, I forgot. Oh, I forgot about this. Do they have Vengeance Strike 2? Okay, no they don't. Alright, I do remember the second chance though. That was... That's really annoying from these skeleton cowboys. The worst. Alright. Bring it on! Seriously, I'm just noticing like what is up with the crits? <laughs> Peter. Yeah, I think El Toro will definitely replace Peter. I don't really need a ton of Buccaneer companions. I just I don't feel like I don't feel like I need it anyway. Like I know my buffs affect them, but like I don't know. Swash just seems a lot more worth it right now. Of course, every one of my crew is subject to change eventually. All right. And everyone on that guy. Damn, when did I get so OP? Jeez. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, and finally the photo album. There we go. And there's bison everywhere. Cool. <laughs> Alright, now what we're gonna do is do this fight and then we can finally summon our boy here. So that'll be good. Finally maybe get this quest line done. Although, man, I'm pretty sure we still have a long way to go till El Toro though. Like a really, really long way. Like we have to, def I think we have to go to... I'm pretty sure we get him after we defeat, after we go through the area of Port Regal in Skull Island, I think. Because we bring Mustang Sally back. But then we also have to go through Tumbleweed Sky, which I'm pretty sure is before that. So we still have a lot to go through, actually. Damn, Cool, cool Ranch is a big-ass world. I honestly forgot how absolutely massive it is. But it's fine, we'll work through it. I don't really care how long this walkthrough takes. I'm gonna finish it. It's happening, it's happening. I wonder if Peter can 1v1 this guy. I think so. I'm pretty sure, yeah. These battles really aren't that bad, though. Come on, Bonnie. That's cool animation. I like that. <laughs> Hello, Miss George. I should change that name. <laughs> I have not done that in a very long time. Alright, hopefully this guy will die. Oh jeez, yeah, I do fat damage. 
Holy shit, I do fat damage. <laughs> wow. There we go. Relentless? Nope, okay. That's fine. <sighs> Which one of these is- okay, no, this one's definitely better. I'm pretty sure in the last episode we learned a bunch of abilities from our boy, Mordecai, so I don't think I need to go back and do that. Although I might have a... Hold on, now that I think about it, I might have a spell quest. Or not a spell quest, I mean it's not whiz, but an ability quest. I'll have to check my quest book. Huh. Yeah, I might have that actually. <laughs> I might have to do that here. This will be enough, I think. Okay. Let us find him coffin, and Don Raphael will come. Let me work me out. Got a group plunder over there. All right. Spirit of Don Raphael, come forth. Don Raphael, he not be here, but he be close. Huh. Let us go back above, my captain. Raphael be up there in the light. Okay. And I got a bit of yeah, nautical XP there. Thank you, Milo. Thank you very much. All the use, all the useless companions, they're here, you know, just chilling, getting my nautical XP, so I can upgrade my ships and purchase new ship equipment. Thank you guys. All right, and this place is actually really, really big. <laughs> I just realized. That's funny. All right, summon Don Rafael outside of the tomb of the De La Vegas. All right. So he should be right outside then. If there's another room, I'm gonna kill myself. I don't think there is though. All right. Honestly, I've been having a lot of trouble loading the game lately, and I think a lot of people have as well. Strange. All right. All right, just had to relaunch the game here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if everything's working correctly. Verifying character. Huh, there must be some serious issues with the game right now. I don't really know what's happening. I can't log on to Lanky Dustin or anyone. That's really, really weird. All right, so we should be able to summon him now. I believe, I don't, I don't think I lost all my progress for the dungeon. I'm pretty sure we're good here. Yeah, just summon him outside. All right, I think that's what we we're supposed to do in the first place, so. Spirit of Don Raphael, come forth. We good? Okay, I think we're good. Yep, awesome. Okay. I see you only dimly, but I can hear your voice. Speak. 26. Nice. Now oh, we got this. You see Captain Blood's treasure? Huh. Ah, there Not is better. much I can tell you. But first, I must ask. No, I must beg a favor from you, pirates. I just realized he is the same sort as Altero. I mean, that makes sense, because he is... Yeah, anyway. At the end of my life, I, the original El Toro, hero of Santo Pollo, champion of justice, committed the gravest injustice. Mm. The regret tortures me even now. Listen. I had worn the mask of El Toro for many years, but I adopted <laughs> Rodrigo and raised him as my own son. There he is. So cute. He inherited my title and estate, and I taught him the ways of stealth and steel. So that he could take up the mask of El Toro after me. Mm. In addition to my adopted son, I was blessed with a beautiful daughter, Carolina. She longed to learn the ways of this sword and become a hero herself. Mm -hmm. I refused to teach her. The way of El Toro is too dangerous. In time, Carolina and Rodrigo fell deeply in love. Incest? Rodrigo asked my permission to marry Carolina. <laughs> I said no. The risk was too great. Rip. Then I learned something terrible. Rodrigo had been training Carolina to fence in secret. I was enraged. I renounced Rodrigo and left my home, never to set foot there again. Huh. Carolina left Santo Pollo in defiance. I lived out the rest of my life in solitude, consumed by anger and regret. That sucks. I beg you, pirate, help me set things right. Bring my daughter back to Santo Pollo so that she and Rodrigo can be reunited. Carolina, I know where she is. Oh, really? Well, can you tell us? I remember those days. My heart was sad to see El Toro's family broken. If you mend these hurts, it will be a good thing. I helped Carolina leave Cool Ranch. My people took her to Skull Island. 
across the sky and beyond the storm. Uh huh. I have heard some news of her. Carolina has mastered the sword and become a great captain. The pirates call her Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally. We met her before. Mustang Sally. We met her in Flotsam. Yep. Radbeard betrayed her. <laughs> Awkward. Them days be past, I tell ya. Still, might be best to check with One-Eyed Jack instead. <laughs> As proof of my will, take my signet ring to Carolina. You will find it hidden in a secret nook in the caves under Scorpion Rock. Oh God! All the way back to that place? Oh no! I fucking Scorpion Rock. Why am I back here? Oh my God! <laughs> Shit! If you guys don't know, this is like probably one of my least favorite dungeons in Pirate, for a number of reasons. But I forget we have to keep coming back here, which is just the that's just the icing on the cake, really. And now my game won't load. And I am trapped on my mount outside the dungeon, still in the sigil. There we go. Okay, and I think, yeah, all we gotta do is just loot this dead body here, and everything should be hunky-dory. We could spend weeks looking for that ring in here, Captain, and never find it. Hmm. Let me work me out. The ring? I brought it here for Don Raphael. But before I could find a hiding place, I was attacked by bandits. And it fell down the waterfall. Wait, you're kidding. The ring, it's ours. You can't have it. Oh boy. We got company. Lots of ghosts this episode. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to join us in battle. Alright, I guess not. Wow, these guys have extremely low health. Okay. I'm not that worried then. <laughs> Why do they have such low health? I, I wonder. It fell down the waterfall though? That kind of sucks. Hmm. Get him. There we go. Nice. Yes, double kill. Awesome. All right, so this battle should take like one minute. I make weird ass noises. Uh, oops. <laughs> Actually, I just opened up my library files. That's nice. You guys ever do that? Tab out of recording accidentally, and then you just click something totally different? I'd imagine some of you probably have. Oh, one shot. There we go. Do these so we actually have to go down the waterfall? Like seriously? Bad mojo cling to this ring, Captain. Let us go down to the lake quickly and find it, so we can leave this haunted place. Oh no. Wait, I swear there was some sort of glitch where you could go down like instantly. Is it not there anymore? Wait, no. I swear this was a thing. You could like somehow glitch down there. And then you'd already be down there, like, by the waterfall and everything. Okay, I imagine we have to get to the, that dock right there. Shit, dude. Do I gotta walk all the way? Do I gotta walk all the way down there? Uh, hello? How are you? Fuck! Okay, I swear, if I get pulled by the stupid scorpion queen, I... No. Like, d please. I beg of you. Okay, I just need to wait for those scorpions to, you know, get past the dock there. They move incredibly slowly, but I think if I just finesse this enough, I can... I can... Fuck! Oh my god, she respawns? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Get me in the water, please. Okay. Welcome to Scorpion Deep. <laughs> and we have an ancient fish. Cool. Alright. I gotta wrap the episode up soon, though. <laughs> Completed 15 turns. What? Uh, okay, sure. Defeat all enemies in 15 turns. I can do that. That shouldn't be that bad. I don't think most battles take even 15 turns, so... Whatever. Alright. Miss George, welcome back. Uh, these guys have a fair amount of health, though, but... Nah, eh, we should be fine. Oh, we didn't get Bonnie Ann, though. Bonnie Ann's dead. It seems like. In spirit, I guess. Alright, they do no damage, though. Okay.
Okay. Let's do that. Do that. There we go. I only have... Okay. That's weird. I'm used to controlling four people, not three. So whenever something like this comes around, it's a little bit weird. You just gonna stare at me? <laughs> You know, when Peter Quinn gets that, like, Vengeance Strike and then that Relentless off of that, I don't know, he can do some pretty good damage. Alright, so these boys should both be dead here, right? I would think, yeah. Alright. Yeah, for sure. GG! Can you give me that ring now? There we go. We got the ring. Now we take it to Sally. The rabbit. Him help us. Wait, now you gotta... Now I have to go all the way back to 1-8. Oh my god. Alright, well I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up that episode of the pirate walkthrough right there. You know, it's been a pretty... Pretty action-packed one, if I do say so myself. This is probably some of the most battling I've seen, like, in an episode so far. So, anyway, hopefully you all did enjoy that episode of the Pirate 101 walkthrough. If you did, you could leave a like or subscribe down below for more content like this in the future. I'm posting pretty consistently now that it's summer. So, anyway, hopefully you guys come to enjoy the future content, at least those who decide to stick around. And, yeah, thanks for all your support so far. I will continue doing this series as well as the other ones on my channel. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video in general. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys, and peace out.